Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Today it's all about goal setting burnout and having a little bit of a life reset. And I know it's probably a little bit funny for somebody who has a life coaching background and has created diary inserts all around the idea of goal setting. Talking about feeling burnt out around it. I know. What I really want to do is sort of share with you the occasionally negative experience that you can have when you are constantly looking forward at what you can improve and what you can change and what you can create in the future at the expense of not being present in the now. And that can be really great for those of us who are overthinkers, who are perfectionists, who worry a lot. Those of us who are like at the movies and sitting there paying bloody 20 something dollars to go and watch a film and you're sitting there going all of the things you haven't done what could you do better and all of that inside of your head rather than being totally present in the moment and enjoying the situation and that can really feed into those feelings of not being worthy enough not feeling like you're deserving and man that is a horrible feeling and all of this striving activity can really chip away and undermine if you have a tendency to feel that way. In this transition time where the last few months have really been about sort of who am I again, what do I want, what do I want to craft into my life, I felt like I just got really burnt out of number one the goals because I didn't know if those were really the things I wanted, if they were still priorities for me. And, you know, I just, I just got sick of looking at all those things forward, not being able to connect in now with self and allowing myself to notice what was really going on, right? It was so much living in the future, so much living in to-dos, as opposed to experiencing now and what's going on inside, in here, in here. I felt really burnt out and I felt really negative towards creating future. So I gave up. I felt burnt out. I didn't feel good about myself. I didn't know what I wanted. Um, and so I decided to take a break from all of that. Of course, there are things you need to do to just make life happen, but I didn't want to be focusing on all the could be's, should be's. I wanted to really focus on experiencing the moment and just noticing more about what lit me up, what made me feel constricted and icky. I thought that was a good place to start. So I burnt out of goals and decided to start afresh. Reset, draw a line in the sand. Because I felt like I wasn't visioning from a, from a clean slate. I wasn't visioning and dreaming from a place of true desire and true want. I felt that I was visioning and doing stuff from a place of lack, of scarcity, of icky feelings. So I decided to try to switch all of that off try. I took a few months off of planning <laughs> and it felt great. If you were able to spend some time and it could be a week, it could be a couple of weeks, it could be a month of giving yourself permission not to strive so hard. Just noticing what makes you feel expansive and lit up and uh, excited and motivated and inspired and what really just makes you feel like crap and not have to do anything with that information yet because when you come back from your enforced period of non-striving, non-building, non-dreaming because then you can come back with a lot more useful information about recreating intentionally again and hopefully this time from a place of your true desires and next part of it is going to be trying to make sense of it all, maybe put some structure in, and then start to work on stuff that I truly want. I always find the best thing to do, and of course they're mowing lawns and stuff now, and I'm feeling a bit cluttered in my head, and I'm feeling a bit like I keep repeating things over and over again because I'm not capturing it in a place that I trust I'm going to look at so that it doesn't need to keep reminding me in here. So I thought we could go through a little bit of that together today. So first of all, I find that before I, I sit down and want to brain dump and get all the stuff out of my head, it is 
to declutter or tidy up some of my physical space. But Poppy's room at the moment is what is kind of dragging my attention. Before I start to clear this up, I want to channel a little bit of my energy to clear up a space because that frees me up to know that something has been done. So I'm just going out to run some errands. Just thought, because I've got a new way that I'm trying to capture information, right? So a brain dump is great when you've got a whole heap of things swinging around your head that you know you haven't necessarily that you know you haven't necessarily put down in a place that you know you're going to go back to to check it out, right? So you know me, I am generally a paper planner girl, but I'm realizing that I'm not really carrying my planner around. <coughs> <coughs> I'm not really I'm not really carrying my planner around when I'm going out and playing errands and bits and pieces. It's just really shaking, isn't it? I'm not really carrying my planner around when I'm going out and about. So I'm thinking that it's time to swap over to complement my paper planning system with the digital age because I always have my phone on me, right? Almost always. I often listen to podcasts. See, I've got my headphones in already. I have started using Trello. Trello is one of these sort of online list organizing tools and while I've checked a few out before I'm really liking this one because it's quite flexible because you can just like type something in somewhere drag it and drop it somewhere else so I will show you a little bit more because it's playing a big role in this big brain dumping thing that I've been doing while I'm out and about and an idea pops up I have started to put it into my Trello app on the phone right so I've got my computer version where it's really easy to drag and drop stuff app is pretty easy when you're out and about and you need to either refer to a list or you need to um, capture something that's popped up into your brain. So this is what I'm trying to do now is that when something pops up then I'm like oh I've got to make a decision about that or I've got to um, buy that. I'm popping it in here and the other thing is okay I take a lot of screenshots on my phone. So like I'm scrolling through uh, Facebook and come across a post that I really love that I want to save for later or looking at a website and there's some information that I just want to capture. I screenshot it. But then it's all in this like schmuzzle pile in my, my camera roll app. What you can do with Trello is that you can go into your camera roll and go onto the photo and then add it to a Trello board with a comment or something. So I'm like, that is going to be life changing. I just thought I'd share it with you because I'm feeling, I'm feeling like it's life changing. I just wanted to share it with you because maybe you're like 50 steps ahead of me and you totally have this down, but maybe this could be an idea for you to utilize as well. Okay, so I ran my errands and as I was going, I was thinking of things and putting it into my Trello app on my phone. Not sponsored at all, obviously. <laughs> so the brain dump is just a really good way to get everything out of your head and onto paper. So you can then create some space in there <laughs> to um, do more of what you want. I do have a bit of a backlog of stuff. So what I did as well is while I brain dumped stuff that was actually floating around my head and not written down anywhere else, I also went back through my diary pages and my notebook to grab out some of the stuff I've jotted down so that I now know it's all in one place. Do it however you want to do it, right? Whether you're grabbing um, your planner or a notebook, piece of paper, and just putting it all down. I'll just show you how I'm starting to do it now. Um, so I just want to show you this is my uh, main Trello board. And if you're interested, I can maybe show you how I've set it up. It's something that's still just a work in progress, but I'm really enjoying it so far because I've got the app on my phone and my iPad. So whatever I have on hand, I can do. To do sort of brain dump, I've got this capture all board. So, and this first board is pretty much 
brain dumping all the different things, right? That have been in my head, that are floating around, that I found in notebooks, that I want to make sure that I have captured somewhere easier. And that's what I'm finding at the moment. It's just a bit easier um, to have it digitally because I can like delete things, I can move things around and so on. For myself, I've decided to color code a little bit so I can kind of see, you know, yellow is for errands, uh, pink is for content, uh, green is for work, contact, home, and so on. And what I've done is in this initial one, that's where I brain dump everything bit by bit, put it all there, and then I can move it to either to do now, so that this is pretty much to do this week, to do next week, to do soon. So it might be that I've got these ideas and I want to do them soonish, but I don't know exactly when. I've also got a board called waiting on. So if I have ask somebody to do something or I'm waiting on them to get back to me with some information it's right there and then I think I've got a couple more boards this way but yeah someday maybe a doing and done um because you know it feels good to <laughs> put things in that pile too so I'm just finding this a really nice way to get things out of my head I have another board that I've got, which is the master to-do list board. So if you know from my Life is Crafted pages, I have some master to-do list uh, inserts and I categorize them by, you know, home, finances and so on. So in my capture all board, if I am sort of thinking of things that might be, okay, it's not to do now or next week or to do soon. It's a someday, at some stage I want to do it, um, but don't know when, could be next year, could be in a few years time. They would then go into my master to do list. All right. So this has just been a really great way to get it out of my head, to be, to look intentionally at these things, right? To see whether they're still relevant or not. And then to start either scheduling them. This can be a great start. Um, to sort of see what's going on, to see where your focus is, to see what you're finding is important. And then from there, I can put things into my planner. Xander's here as well. <laughs> right, so I know, okay, so for next week, I can still categorize because I do like categories. It, it organizes to do so they're not in such a big random list. And then I can start to prioritize what I want to do on each day. Right. And so then these to do's are not clumped up with the gazillion things going on because I used to just capture a lot of stuff here as I was thinking about them as well. So instead of going to doing that and cluttering up my week and perhaps distracting me from actually what I've chosen to do and what's important, I'm going to be leaving them here. Carve some time out for yourself. Get a clear mind because then you will have a lot more clarity about what's important and where you want to go with it. I want to do some painting. I want to get creative again. I want to um, make my house more of a home. And this is then when you can start to see what potential future goals you might want to come up with. The power of doing this and getting it. I don't know how many times I bloody said getting it out of your head in this video. So. Once you've cleaned up some space to get yourself into the mood of decluttering your mind as well and you've done your brain dump, you should be able to easily work out your weekly schedule or what's important for you to do today or tomorrow or over the next few days. And then you can feel comfortable in trusting yourself that you have a place where you put everything of importance down and that you can add to it as it go as you go um, and then do your scheduling from that. And then really at this stage, if you're feeling like it, you can go on towards doing some life goal setting, some wish lists, perhaps creating a be, do, have list for yourself. Now that your mind is a little bit more empty and hopefully you're feeling inspired to craft more of your life. Hope you've enjoyed the video. Make sure you give it a thumbs up and if you haven't already, feel free to subscribe for more videos like this.